What's up, ladies? You now tuned in to the love doctor himself. Major love. Shotty, I know you wanna talk, but I ain't no first base nigga. I hit it out the park. I ain't rushing, I just rather keep it real from the start. No reason for me to keep my intentions in the dark. Say I can listen, but just know I can talk too. We can hit the couch, the car, or take a walk too. I be your therapist, I put you in just the right mood. I ain't no pimp, I just happen to have some player mood. The way I rock, the way I dress, I know she like it for sure. I keep it fly like I'm a pilot, but I'm driving the boat. This a private practice, everything done. Yo, what it is, it's your hot boy, Major Love with three E's and three chances for your girl to give me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm here with my boy D Nelly. You know what I'm saying? You pull up to the bar. What you want to drink, son? You know, depends on what you got, man. Look, I got some crown. You got. I got some crown. You got the crown. It's a fresh one too. I ain't open it. Open the top. And I got, I got coke vanilla to go with it. <laughs> yeah. Shit, yeah, just save it up, bro. Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got my glass and I got your glass the right way. Say love. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling God be feeling like a bartender behind here. You know what I'm saying? Tell the people who you are, what you do, why you do it. You got some some fucking hats, you know what I'm saying? You can pop shit by the hats if you want. T -t -t Holler yeah. at the people, man. <laughs> What's up, gang? My name is D Nelly. I'm D Nelly in the cut. We're drinking with me. You say D Nelly in the cut. Yeah, <laughs> wavy Navy gang, all yeah, the way. Ride on wave or drown. Um me personally, dog, I'm just a designer. Um, entrepreneur, somebody that's a visionary that's trying to continue to like create things that make me happy and that's gonna impact other people. So, really, just creating whatever I want and, and, and taking it one step at a time. Um, I've been doing endless waves since seventeen, so that's six years now, and more to go. And I'm just you know trusting in the journey and the process and trying to see what's coming next. Yeah, we you you've been locked in, you know what I'm saying? You say how many? Six years, seven years? Six years. That's a long guy. Six time. years, um, July 29th. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I remember when you first came to Southeastern with the shit. It ain't feel like you had just started them bitches, but he like, fuck you was yeah. rolling. He always been rolling like that. For sure. Yeah, so I started Hold on, wait, 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 before you tell them how you started, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna get in for it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get comfortable too. I'm going too, man. Yeah, that's it, you know what I'm saying? Too, yeah, you know what I'm gonna right. sit down and get comfortable. We're gonna lock in, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. But, let me tell y'all, it, it took three months for me to get him on this bitch. <laughs> it, it took three motherfucking hey, months, dog, for me to get him on this bitch. But we got him, so now we rolling. Here you right. go, my brother. Busy, appreciate you. Pull the bottles out, mix the Henny and Amigos, we wildin' out Shorty tryna drive the boat, she might end up with me in the throat Cause all her friends, they keep calling the goat We tryna party tonight, I ain't worried about a thing, I'm just living life We some stars in the sky and they shining bright One life to live, so we living life Got a long ride, nigga, got the music blast. Major Lust still on the Henny, nigga, hoping he don't crash Savvy really different, got his eyes on the back Got her on the hands and knees, Velma looking for a glass So then we call a spider and two dips like, what's the move? Bro say he got the Migos, Jimmy trying to fuck with crew So I'm like, that's a bad drop a pin, you coming through Nigga never stop to think what Henny Migos gonna do Five hour ride, got the gas on rotation Shorty wanna link, I told us in a location No, I didn't cuff, I put her ass on probation And we grinding through the summer, nigga Nigga ain't no vacation. Brown skin shorty, no she ain't got no patience. Ain't even asked my name, I killed the pussy speed racing. Bro say tap the bottle, guess he forgot about pacing. Nigga seen us cross the club, almost forgot about hating. Pull the bottles out, mix the henny and amigos, we wildin' out. Shorty tryna drive the boat, she might end up with me in the throat. Cause all her friends, they keep calling the goat. We tryna party tonight. I ain't worried about a thing, I'm just living life. We some stars in the sky and they shining bright. One life to live, so we living life. Yeah, we living life. Let's ride. It's me and the guys, we on the move, but that ain't a surprise. Everybody wanna hang, want a piece of the pie. But everybody ain't invited, I'ma have to deny. I bring the heat outside every time, like the month of July. Gotta stay fly and sophisticated without the time. Walk in the club, I can feel it, know I'm catching AI. Bartender, give me a drink. Cause I'm liking the vibe la, la. We in Houston trying to party You know Jimmy the host Got me looking for the shots I'm trying to make me a toast Double trouble on the rocks I'm floating like a boat I'm so high in the mind I'm going coast to coast We some stars from the trenches Some young niggas Move from two different 
All right, boom, I had to come get comfortable, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't standing back there. I ain't no real bartender. But now you can tell them people how it started, and, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And then, look, we're going we gonna to take one in. For sure. To greatness. So, um, really, bro, like, a lot of people don't know I came up with, like, Endless Ways in 16. Mm -hmm. 2016, my junior year in school, I had, um... That was the best year. What it was say? all season from football and basketball, and I was just thinking, like, man, like at some point in my life, like I'm not gonna play sports no more. Like you was thinking big. I'm on like eventually. And you thought that in your junior year? Yeah, Shoot. I'm like eventually, <laughs> like I need something that I could fall back on, or something that just made me happy, like outside of you know just playing sports. Cause like, like I'm like I'm I used to be like very to myself when I was younger, mm -hmm. so I ain't really talk about like certain things I used to do, like. Man, I was in talent shows when I was younger. I used to play the drums at my grandma's house. Like I used to dance. Like I was always creative. So I like I always knew like whatever I did, it was gonna be something based around like the artistic view yeah, or something like that. Lane. So like I told myself like man, I just want to start a brand. You know what I'm saying? Because I had another brand with my friends called Connect Clothing. And, like um, it was uh Subtweet Sean, and myself, and like two other partners. Like. Oh, so you been knowing so too. Yeah. So sure, like sure. we we was doing that in high school. We, like he had came up with the concept, made like you know wanted us to be a part of it, and we never really got it off the ground. Like never did nothing with it. So I knew I wanted to like start a brand eventually. So like one day in my room, I'm like you know coming up with plans and stuff. Or like this around the time I used to listen to like that Kanye album, like that Waves Don't Die song. Oh, okay. And then I, every weekend people used to be like, hey, what's the wave, woo woo stuff like that. So yeah, I, I do remember that that was around that. Yeah. Yeah, like one day oh, I'm yeah. just like brainstorming and I'm just writing words down on papers, like, you know what I'm saying? Different words that resonate with me. I wrote mm -hmm. the word endless down, I wrote the word waves down. And as I'm looking at the paper, like I just connected the two, like endless waves. And then I made my first logo, and then I never stopped from there. All right, fact. Right. <laughs> that is, I'm glad you said that because I was going yeah. that way anyway. So tell us about the first logo. I'm gonna pop that motherfucker up. <laughs> tell us about the uh, first logo. I don't even know of anybody. The first logo was a globe. It was a globe with an arrow around it, and it was, it said "Endless Ways Clothing." And this was before I created the yeah. studios part. When yeah. I was just wanted to sell clothes. Mm -hmm. From there. Um, I was working that whole summer. I saved up a thousand dollars. I saved up a band. I got my first fifty t-shirts. That's the t-shirts with the wave on the front, yeah, like the little Chinese mural uh -huh. with the endless waves uh, going through it. I only had black and um, white. Yeah, I got the first fifty t-shirts, and I bought so a that's camera. Not, that's not the like one you came to Southeastern with. That's the ones I came to Southeastern okay. with. That's the very first one. Yeah, we gonna pop them up. I can't even remember them bitches. That's how, that's yeah, how yeah. I like elevated the shit and got. I can't even yeah, remember what that so bitch was. That was the very first two, and then I I, I spent like five hundred on the camera. Mm -hmm. So from there, I spent the five hundred because I didn't want to pay nobody to do my shoots. I'm like, man, I probably save my money just doing my own shoots. Right. Which now I'm in a different you know level now, where I'm trying to you know get to a point where I can hire people to do certain yeah. things. But before we get that, like the camera opened more doors. For yeah. Me. The camera, so, the camera, yeah. the camera do open a lot of doors, but I get what you're saying. It's like you, you gotta realize the the bigger you get, you can't do everything. Facts. You can't do everything, but Facts. you gotta be, you gotta grow with the shit to even understand that. So you went from that logo to the that's the uh, the astronaut on the wave, right? On the so my the astronaut is more like a, a one off design, or more so like the character of the brand. Okay. So it's not really the logo. The logo is uh, like the globe with the arrow. Oh, I get what you're saying. You said, you said the, the astronaut logo. That just was a, Yeah, the astronaut a is more so like a graphic. Or it's just like a, a replica for the brand that like expresses what the brand is about. So okay. like a lot of people, like my brand go over a lot of people here. Yeah, my I'm not going to lie. I'm learning right now. <laughs> because like people don't like, it's more so a meaning behind it than it is just fashioning and like me trying to mm -hmm. like get people to be a part of the movement. Like it's really a meaning. Like a lot of people don't even realize like Roger on Wave, like an astronaut, like in yeah. Greek, that means like star sailors. So we looking at it like you a star sailor, Ryan on Wave shooting for the stars to the sky, not the limit. That's why I got the whole infinity thing going on, bro, because it's like we forever being true to ourselves and we forever wow. trying to 
Okay. Ride our wave, and I feel like, you know what I'm saying, as long as you're true to who you are and you being yourself, you being authentic, it's like nothing that can stop you. No, nah, that's tough. I'm day, not so. gonna for that. <laughs> I didn't so, even, I got new a little bit of that, but I like, didn't know all that. That's like the, all the like symbols and stuff I be using are just like certain words and stuff. Like it's all it ain't just cold ass shit. Symbolic to yeah. like what I'm trying to like put out. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that's tough. So you explain the infinity. Yeah. Cause I've seen I've been to pop up shops and seen you hear, hear you explain it. Yeah. And I fucking love it. So explain that to me. So the infinity sign is really like like endless waves stand for infinite possibilities. So like I said, like as long as we as long as we ride your own wave and be true to yourself, the possibilities for success are endless. So that's what the whole infinity thing for is just like endless list, infinity forever type thing. And then I created it to where like it's a box infinity symbol mm -hmm. but it's out of the e and the w so you yeah. can see the e and the w in the infinity nah, that so it's just like, trying to like head. if y'all think about it like what i was really trying to do like from the first two logos i just felt like it was doing too much it was too much words too much graphic mm -hmm. i wanted to create like a symbol or a stamp that can allow me to elevate my brand because like when you think about bigger brands like louis vuitton um Prada, any of these big brands, like they don't have all those difficult graphics yeah, going on in their logo. It's just logo. like one symbol or one word. And they put that bitch all symbol, over the and it just makes the brand like stand out. So when you you it's like like marketing, like it's like psychology, bro. When you get get used to seeing the same thing over and over again, like you resonate with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was really the whole idea behind it, like creating something that I could stamp. For people, I could put it on a belt. I could put it. In, I could make a pattern with it and put it on yeah. a bag. Like, like when you see that like bitch, that. you know that's, that's endless, endless waves. waves. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I get mean, what you're saying, especially when you when you compare it to like other brands. They all have that one logo to where it's like it don't matter if it's on the emblem, on the hat, on right. the back. If it's small, big, you know, yeah, that's Louis Vuitton, that's Prada, or whatever. Yeah. So right. I get it. I get it. And that's that's fucking hard. <laughs> so since we talk about the big brands, explain your brand inspiration. Like your biggest brand inspiration, like what? as far as a brand or just like a person, like um, both. Give me, give me. If it's not the same person, give me who the, the brand that inspires you the most and the person. Like, I'm gonna say, like, I don't, I don't think, I don't really. It's kind of both. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm inspired by multiple things. I feel like I'm inspired by certain moments in my life. I'm inspired by people. I'm inspired by my city. Mm -hmm. Um, certain things like that, like just the moments. Like I watch people like Kanye, Pharrell, Virgil, um, Jerry Lorenzo. Like it's certain people I watch, but it's more so like I try to take bits and pieces of things that I've been through, my culture, stuff that I've seen, and just kind of like put my own twist and reverse on it. So it's like whether it's like I'm in New Orleans and I got I see other local brands that's coming up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's M line or Mid in the Hood, yeah. like everything. I'm inspired by any and everybody, bro. Cause I feel like, you know what I'm saying? We all pushing and trying to do the same thing. We all trying to create, we all trying to get to the next level. So it's like anybody that's doing something creative and mm -hmm. doing something that they're passionate about and they're going hard for it, it's like I'm inspired by that. Like that's the whole idea of my brand. It's like it ain't even just about like me creating and designing clothes, like the reason I started off the events and the parties and taking pictures and doing all that, because I want to build a platform for creative people and I want to create a collective. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know what I'm saying, if you got a podcast, or I'm designing, or this person is on a camera, this person rap, uh, rapping, or whatever the case may be, it's like I'm creating a platform for everybody to come and express their art. You know what shit. I'm saying? Whether Same it's through way. events, whether it's through the, the visual art that we putting out, you know what I'm saying? And that's where the studios visuals, come from. Like anything, like we trying to, I, I'm I'm thinking big, like I'm thinking like cash money, uh, some I don't know what, yeah, like some BMF cash money type yeah. shit for like creative people. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, we, we, saying. we we moving you, together, but we ain't all we all doing different things. Yeah, know? and that's a different way to look at it. It's not really you're not specifically copying off of nobody. You just learning from everybody. Learn, learning, from, learning, like being inspired. Yeah, like it's all just, flowing together. I fuck with that. Just feel like figuring out ways that is like you know what I'm saying. How can we help each other? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying. Like yep. so, shit like that. That's a valid way to do it. And I feel like anybody that want to be creative or anything like that need to have a mindset like that because it's a lot of money in the world. And 
yeah. as much as people won't say I did it by myself, I mm-hmm. I ain't need nobody help. Eventually you're gonna need some help. Or you're gonna run yourself down to the ground, you're gonna right. you're gonna overwork <laughs> your mind, you're gonna you're gonna get too far, it's gonna you're gonna crash. That's just the way the body works. It's like human human body. That's just what it is. So I'm still searching for a team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm still searching for one too. Like I like, I've learned to just let it go. Like just let it flow and, yeah, and, and it's gonna move with you. it because they come to you. Like that's how I end up running into my producer and a beat maker. I always wanted that. But instead of me just talking to different people, just looking through them, I just let it come to me. And that shit turn that shit's turning out beautiful right now. So I get it. But you kind of already answered it, but I want you to go a little more depth in it. So, what what you feel like your identity is? My identity, like your identity as a brand, because I just learned this maybe like two weeks ago talking to mm. uh, Jay Chat. Mm. Shout out to Jay Chat. I, I always go to Jay Chat just like looking for the outside person view on me. Yeah. So, because I don't want to get caught in what I think good and what I yeah. want to see outside, and he's told me he feel like I don't have my identity already. Mm-hmm. And when he explained it to me, I, I, it made sense. So I'm asking you like, what you feel like your identity is? Um, for me, I feel like it's kind of like, you know, like, the it's hard, bro, because I always, like, this is one of the things that I'm big on. It's just, like, formulating that bit, that footprint, you know what I'm saying, of, like, what my brand is about and, like, what's the mission, what's the purpose. I feel like for Endless Waves, it's, it's kind of like creating something that nobody else is doing, mm-hmm. like, I want to create like it's it's an endless cycle of creativity basically like I want to create this 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 universe of things that's bringing people together from all different verticals. Okay. Whether that it's like sense. whether it's like the clothes that we wear, you know what I'm saying? These endless ways pieces, all these events that we throwing, which we do events, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We gonna get endless back to that. These moments. These moments we creating through yeah, the the tough, visuals, the camera. Um, just bringing people together in the same a- atmosphere, having them on the same wavelength, which I'm working on some called wavelength. I ain't gonna talk. I'm gonna <laughs> leave it like that. Wavelength like, sound hard. So. Um, and just creating this universe of just different things. It's kind of like you know what I'm saying, like with Diddy doing with Revolt TV. Mm-hmm. Like I really want Endless Ways to be like a media and entertainment platform, and these pieces we create, and these moments we create, this is the is the tangibles yeah. that you get to keep when you are part of this like mm-hmm. this movement. And I understand it when you say Revolt TV. Yeah. I or just like, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Any like, you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm trying to mix media. It's 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 fashion entertainment visual arts. Like you'll yeah. see it on my, my page when you look look at my page. Like it's a creative it's a fashion universe. entertainment visual art. Yeah. And I feel like nobody else is doing that at a high level. Like they either doing one or the other. And I feel like we could create this world you know what I'm saying? Like the astronaut, this space, this universe of mm-hmm. verticals of creativity and bring all yeah. different forms of people together through fashion, art, and entertainment. Like that's really what it is. No, nah, that is. That's a good. No, nah, that's a good lane to go into because yeah. it's, the, it's already a lane in different aspects, but putting it all at once, mm-hmm. that's that's the part that's different about it. like where well, you could do it all at right. one. Yeah, I fuck with that. Yeah, it's yeah. like, I'll give you an example. Like it's like, Let's say, for instance, if I if I drop some merch and I do a campaign, like instead of me just doing a typical campaign with a model, why you know, let me get one of my rapper artist friends to be a part of the campaign mm-hmm. and put his song over it. You yep. know what I'm saying? Stuff like yeah, it's that. A, it's a yeah. It's a mixture of all these different art. You know what I'm saying? Segments and, and just blended it together to create something new. You know yeah, yeah. I feel you. I fuck with that because that's that's the type of time I be on. I fuck with that. Got to think about everybody because everybody touches everything, especially clothes. Clothes and fashion is big in the music industry, so working with an artist is the perfect lane to go into. It's big and like you know what I'm saying. It's big and everything too. Yeah, like, entertainment, you know what I'm saying? like mm-hmm. whether they have movies and, and shows right. and shit. Not niggas podcasting. Wearing, niggas wearing Prada and like, like even if you go out. out, like you step out, you trying to put on your best. So it's like, like. Yep. Like when I get back to like you know what I'm saying, because I do plan on getting back to throwing events again. Like when I get back to that, like I don't want to just have an event. Like I really want to showcase everything that happened in that moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? At this event, like whether it's behind the scenes, whether it's certain conversations. Like I literally want to create movies yeah. with what we doing yeah. in real life. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, <laughs> no, that's tough. I'm like, that. like, no, that's, that, tough. that's the whole visual aspect of it. Because I feel like you know what I'm saying. 
I'm a big YouTube fan. Like I watch. Yeah, YouTube me too. That's, I watch that shit more than I watch. I be wanting to see the behind scenes process of how people got to where they are now, mm -hmm. and just how they living their life on a daily basis. Like I be wanting the inside scope and view on certain things. So it's like, like, on, like we doing events, events the artists that you look at in the studio, whatever we doing. It's just like how can we like showcase this at such a quality level that make people want to watch it and make them feel like they're they in, like the they in the room. Like they, they feel like they're done. You know yeah, nah, that's like, how that's I look at plan. it. When I look at other artists or other people I look up to, I like when you see the behind the scenes and they just talk. Like, mm -hmm. uh, for example, Million Dollar Worth the Game. I like the uh, Gillian Wallow Adventures. Yeah. Because you see the real conversations, the authentic conversations. Yeah, and shit that's going on. Yeah. I, I, once it. the camera around you so long, like, you know what I'm saying? You get to a point where it's you Like, it's a like, person. It's just a person. Yeah, it's natural. Like, they just a part of the, you know, what we got going on right now. Yeah. And I, I fuck with that. Because that's exactly how I be, too. Yeah. All right. Tell me. Yeah, because you, you know, I had to finish my shit. I'm about to pull up some more. Tell me what's the hardest thing about the brand? Like the hardest thing that you had to do from uh, day one to year six. The hardest Man, thing you had to do. I would say for me, like creating is easy, bro. Like that's the easy part because that's what I, I enjoy the most. You're talking about like creating the actual merch? Cre yeah, creating. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like creating content. Like, anything that has to do with like the art of the brand, like that. That's the most peaceful. That's the most easiest thing to do. I feel like the business side, it has its like it has its challenges. For, but for me, like because like that's what I went to school for, and that's what I study a lot. Like it's becoming easier for me. It's just certain like loopholes and things that you don't learn in business that you're not taught. Whether you in like growing up, your people don't teach you, or even in school, mm -hmm. like you just don't learn. You don't learn certain things like taxes. And like, you know what I'm saying, distribution and cost of goods. Like it's so much that goes into running the business. And like that's why like I'm okay with me being six years in and still being not being where I wanna be because it's like the knowledge that I have now is like once I have the time and the capital that I need, like it's n it's nothing that can stop me, yeah. bro. Cause it's like I've, Cause I've been studying everything. and learning yeah. so long and I understand certain things. That's gonna eventually open up doors for me. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's business credit or uh, me understanding how to write st write stuff hard. Like that's yeah. what I be teaching myself. So that I would say like that's that's one of the hard factors, but that just come with the game. Like yeah, it is. at it some is. point, like just, you know what I'm saying? I feel like as long as you're consistent and you go you you grow and you build the right team, like you can put yourself in a position to not have to do all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I would say like in the clothing aspect, I would say production. Like production is can be very difficult because like if you're an upcoming brand, you don't have a lot of startup capital, you don't have a lot of money to invest mm -hmm. in your merch. It it's like you gotta figure out what type of brand you wanna be to what is like you wanna make it yourself or you wanna like manufacture it or you wanna use blanks. Like you gotta figure out what, what type of brand you wanna create. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some brands gonna sell like the $10 tees and some brands is selling it for a hundred. You know what I'm saying? For what I want to be, like I want to sell exclusive quality merch. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's like trying to find the manufacturer that's gonna produce it the way you want it. You know, they're gonna like be on time with shipping. They're gonna communicate well. The quality is gonna be all right. Size is gonna match up correctly. Like all that is important and then also having them work with you like finance wise because like a sample could be expensive depending on where you're getting it from yeah, like you get a sample in china it might be like four five hundred dollars bro yep. if you're trying to create real merch and for me like the reason i like i won't step back from dropping because i want to i want to create more stuff that i'm actually proud of and i know i took my time with mm. so if i do you know what i'm saying so send it to a rapper or influencer they like damn you know what i'm saying like it's your fire. Like that's the type of reactions I want. And I want be I want I want that feel. Like if you going in the store, you gonna spend two, three hundred, a thousand on this Louis shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to do the same thing for endless ways, bro. But it's just like I wanna focus on drops, like create because people like exclusivity, bro. They like feeling like they don't own they don't own got this piece or the only it's only a few one people out of ten yeah. people, you know what I'm saying? So but production I, is like, yeah, that shit tough. I get that because that's like they say, 
people only show the highlight reel. Yeah. They only talk about the highlight reel. When everybody like young and say, I want to be a rapper, I want to be a clothing line, I want to do all this. They don't think about the money it's going to take, the time it's going to spend, the stressful thoughts and trying to like when shit don't go your right way or you playing it out exactly how you want it and this fuck up, that fuck up. You ain't got no car to get here or tire to go flat. They don't talk about that shit. They just talk about it. And then another thing I got to touch on like about that is like I try every process. Like I've tried making it. I've tried manufacturing it. I've tried, you know what I'm saying, getting the blank shirts and getting them screen printed. Like for me, I've always been big on the quality. Like I never, mm -hmm. I never produced on the guild and like no offense to other brands, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But like I always wanted to figure out like how I could produce the best hoodie or the best shirt to where like it be last forever. You and I get on, to you, your quality is nice. All that. So it's like making it for me, I love making it. Like I won't I won't get to a point where it's like, okay, I make this one on one piece and this might be the one that I make. But I'm gonna manufacture the rest. But I might sell you the one that I only put my hands yeah. on. That's what makes so, that one yeah, special. Make special. So I want to create it like I want to create it like that because making it, bro. Like you trying to make, even if it's like twenty or thirty hoodies, you got to make yourself. It's so time consuming. And it's so shit. I know I used to have a clothing it, it, brand. That's it's why long. It's hard. You putting in so much hours and work, and you draining yourself and. You working in your business instead of on your business. I want to work on my business. Like yeah. I want to be able to come to like you know what I'm saying. Put that. Interviews like this. I want to be able to like have my team out in the store or doing pop ups. I want to be able to like focus on how we gonna make more money, how we drop more product, how we create. I don't want to be stuck in the house making a hundred hoodies and yeah. I, I don't got time to promote. I don't got time to do other things. So it's I like, like the way you put that. I'm I trying to be straight man. Work on my business, not in my business. Yeah. I fuck with that. Like I'm trying to like, get I wanted to come here already packed up, ready to go, ready to yeah. shit. Like, you know, by the time that bitch, by the time you start seeing it, like seeing the numbers come through that shit already in the works. Man, put me up again. <laughs> Y'all see me, I'm on glass two over here. Running his mouth. I ain't mad though. You you dropping them gems for sure. Nah, that's real though. Cause I was yeah, doing it like, hard, I, son. like I have pop ups. Like you know what I'm saying, I have a pop up on a Saturday, and I'll be up Friday night to like four five in the morning making shirts and making stuff, trying to be be ready to for the pop up. For me, I'm the type of person, bro. I go above above and beyond every single time, bro. <laughs> you supposed to, sir. Like you it don't matter what it is, bro. I'm gonna go crazy to. every time, bro. Like I be, I be like, damn. I don't care who gonna be at that bitch. I don't care if two people show up. Yeah. They gonna be like, Nelly came hardest. Yeah, exactly. Like, look, that's, that's what a lot of you niggas <laughs> fuck up at. Though. I be trying to go you hard every time, man. bro. I be up to five thirty in the morning, off for one hour of sleep, bro. trying to make sure that shit right. Niggas bro. be lazy. Niggas don't be want to do that. <laughs> that's why you've been doing it for six years. You nah, can see the progress. I know niggas. That started that shit went hard, and once they realized how much they really had to do that shit, they left that shit alone. Especially as soon as they realized they dropped 50 shirts and only seven people bought one. Now they like, man, niggas ain't hey, fucking with me. Hey, like, niggas ain't gonna fuck with you all the time, son. It takes tough skin, too, because. They do. Niggas ain't gonna fuck with you. Especially like, I, in Louisiana. Bro, niggas do not fuck with you. You gotta really put that bitch in somebody's face, or you gotta, like, Get that shit outside of Louisiana. Get them to fuck with it and, and make like, them realize. Like, that, like it's like it's just like it's like music, bro. It's like you have your moments and you mm -hmm. gotta you gotta build off your momentum. Like I've had moments you where I've to. had I've had so much momentum. You know what I'm saying? And I have moments where I kind of die down because Cause that's like, your life, though. That's life. Like that's my life. Like a lot of people that's doing what I'm doing, bro. Like you know what I'm saying I've been in school. I've been working nine to five. So like that. Congratulations. It's been, too. And then pulling me like this, yeah. You know what I'm cause saying? the nigga got a, nigga got a master's degree and the uh the bachelor's. Yeah, bro. So, like, you know what I'm saying? So that's life be pulling me like this, but I feel like you know what I'm saying. That's just part of my journey. Like you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. everything I've done is just gonna be it's building me for the CEO or whatever I'm supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, and you know I I agree with that because I've been in this kind of headspace too, to where like I started learning shit, and then you know how you always had that moment like fuck I can't I'm I'm ready to blow up. Mm -hmm. I'm ready, God, all that. But then you learn something, you be like, "Damn, I never knew that shit." I'm glad I wasn't. I'm glad God ain't giving it to me now, cause I wasn't. I wasn't ready for this part. It's kind of like over time you start learning shit and you start understanding why it ain't happened for you yet, cause right. you don't know this yet. And then you got some more shit you gotta learn before yeah, you get bro. done. Cause I rather, 
I'd rather take 10 years and learn everything about it and get in and go up than do two years and learn, sh- like, from yeah. getting fucked over, getting fucked up, ended and going broke and shit right. throughout them 10 years. But fact, like for me, like shit, twenty, but that was twenty twenty when COVID hit. Mm-hmm. Like twenty nineteen, bro. Like fall when we was on yeah, college yeah, break, yeah, bro. Yeah. When like we, we was yeah, like, I, I, was, I know what you talking about. I was locked was in. Lit. I was like, lit. you know what I'm saying? I had I had just got our relationship. I was locked in, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about that next year. I'm talking about pop up at the pop up at the pop up party. fashion show party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were rolling out of town, brand in Atlanta. Like it was back to back to back mm-hmm. to back, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're going to have your moments and then you're going to see like what you've been throughout your time yeah. and your journey. And now, like, as you grow, you're going to know that you can get back to that point. Yep. And you're going to understand like what, what it, it is take. you got to do yep. to get back to that level and how to maintain it. And I feel like the biggest part is maintaining that level and scaling up from there. Yeah. That's the hardest part. Cause it's like, you could, you could go crazy tomorrow and then, that shit. Go like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like how you keep trickling up and trending up and maintain where you at. You know what I'm saying? So for me, like once I get back to the level I want to be momentum wise and people following the brand, watching the brand, shopping day to day, like how do I maintain that level and scale up from there? Like that's the question. How you maintain that level and you scale up from there and you, you keep trickling up, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And keep beating the goals and your numbers every month, you know what I'm saying? And nice. not getting back nice. to a hiatus and not dropping back down and not going six months off again, but maintaining this for years and years to come, bro, and, and creating a system where it, 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 it operates like a train around yeah, the clock. The it big, don't stop, the, bro. It's the big goal. Yeah. All right, so now nah, I'm not going to lie. You're giving out some real game, and I fuck with everything you said because this is kind of the headspace I've been in lately. Like, lately I've just been mm-hmm. trying to figure everything because I'm realizing I got to do a whole lot more. Right. I've, in my mind, I've always been on some locking, 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 but I I haven't been locking in on the right shit. Like I've been like the podcast shit. I've learned the behind like, behind the camera shit you got to do, and mm-hmm. that's just from watching watching from uh, eighty five South to to a million dollars worth of game to drink champs to fucking um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah like all the big facts like watching them and then understanding what they really do and how they got there. Yeah, I'm starting to realize it's deeper than just the in front of the camera shit. The behind the camera shit important too. So until I get that team like we talked about, yeah, I gotta lock the fuck in. All them distractions gotta go. Thanks. And I ain't gonna lie, it'd be hard not going to this and going to that or having to go to work so much to make sure you got enough money to pay for this. It'd be hard, but that just proves your dedication. And that's right. how that's that's what make me keep going with it. Cause I'm like, fuck, it's worth it. Fuck, yeah. fuck everything. I'm, I'm gonna be so lit. That, I'm, I'm gonna be so lit eventually. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to party uh, as much as I was missing. Thanks. All right, so, bro, tell me what's your biggest accomplishment? Yeah. <laughs> like so far, the, the shit like, that made you the most, the most happy, and it don't even, it don't gotta be with your brand. I'm talking about in life, because life is a journey about you know learning and getting better. So, what's your mm-hmm. biggest? That's accomplishment? a tough one, bro. I gotta think about that one for a minute. He said, "My biggest accomplishment." Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I know it's every accomplishment is gonna have another accomplishment that topped out. But so far at 23, 24, 24. <laughs> Are you 24, brother? Yeah. Damn, we getting old. <laughs> but at 24, yeah. what's what's the biggest one so far? Like for me, I would probably say I just got a thousand fucking views on one of my videos. That's what's up. First one on YouTube. I didn't. This is gonna top a thousand. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. This gonna top a thousand. You need that be the top a thousand. <laughs> but that's my biggest accomplishment. You know what I'm saying? Because a thousand people. Because it's different from Instagram and YouTube. On Instagram, that bitch give you a view. As long as somebody watch five seconds. YouTube is more of a commitment. Like, yeah. Take, like it's a, like a call for. Yeah. Right? Like you gotta nigga gotta really watch a certain part of the amount of the video you know, over ten minutes. Exactly. That's a lot of people time. Exactly. So you gotta really like. That's why it means so much. Because I had a conversation with somebody. They were saying. You get more than a thousand on Instagram. I'm like, Instagram different. All you gotta yeah, do is that's, click that's, that bitch. That's Instagram. It's instant, but, so I'm not, I don't be tripping on that. Mm-hmm. I get excited for like 10K on Instagram. Cause that mean they, a lot of people yeah. see me. But this, YouTube, a thousand, that was big for me. And I know it's gonna be shit bigger would, than that, but right would, now that's the um, biggest. I would say for me, like, I feel like my biggest accomplishment, it, it's, 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 it's like all things combined in one. I would say like, like I'm saying, finishing school twice. 
Um, yeah, that's fucking big. They say they say we don't um, do we not supposed to do that, so that's big. Being the fact that I'm like, you know what I'm saying, I work for a corporate con- company and now I'm like in management, you know what I'm saying? So that's big because that's really teaching me how to be a leader and mm-hmm. develop people. And a lot of people in our culture like ain't doing that, you know yep. what I'm saying? So, and it and it showed that you're not just good and dedicated at it. Yeah, so and I, I feel like that that's part of my journey too, with teaching me like, you know what I'm saying, how to be the leader, I'm gonna have to be in my business. And I would say like for the brands, just like I never gave up. Like it's been six years through like all the all the failure, the doubt, you know what I'm saying? People saying I can't do such and such, you know what I'm saying? I'm still doing it and like I just did essence, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I was outside, but next year I'm gonna be in convention center. Right, you you know what I'm saying? And just making like having having that business footprint to where it's like I could like I'm filing taxes on my business. I have my LLC, I have business credit. You know what I'm saying? I could go in the bank and get a loan for my business, like mm-hmm. stuff like yeah, that. So big. it's like I ain't even there yet. I'm I'm getting there. I'm so I just got into that shit, but for me it's bitch. just I feel like you know just being consistent and constantly doing what I need to do to build the business footprint and build the brand and scale it up to like one day I can have a storefront, you know what I'm saying, in New Orleans or whatever city I'm in and have, you know, a team of people working alongside me mm-hmm. and pushing like the same movement. And I feel like because I have those things set up and those have those strategies in place, like I can only grow from them. You gave me an accomplishment and a goal. I fuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> you gave me two and one. Fuck it. <laughs> now nah, I feel like though. That's always a great feeling. But see, now, we ain't doing that but getting higher and higher and higher. It's 2023, and I think all of us learning so much shit mm-hmm. that we can't, if you don't get better, even if it's, even if you don't have a business or whatever, if you don't get better at yourself, being a person, fuck, I don't even know what you what you really doing. Cause it's, I feel like it's always ways to get better Sorry. in everything, even like at your job. And I feel you on the, like the job situation because I yeah. got promoted to a higher position, but I'm looking at yeah. it as just more money. But I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, <laughs> it was shit. like, it's more paperwork, it's more mind work. You gotta I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, I've, I've been at the point where I wanted to, like, quit so many times. Oh, but, like, <laughs> <laughs> every time, every time I was about to quit, bro, I got promoted in that bit. But what I can see, like, you know what I'm saying? I work at Enterprise, like, it definitely made me a better person. Really? I I I be in that bit. I got to do everything. That's how I feel, right? That's how I feel. Like, like, I'm really, I'm in that bit really looking at reports and numbers mm-hmm. and shit. And I really got to know where this employee at. I got to teach. Like, yeah, it's yeah. it's real. Like, it's that's like. How, that's how I look at it, too, because I work, I'm a, uh, a specialist. So we got to, we do like orders and uh, installations, but you got to really look at the customer information, really type out those, make sure this installer know this guy. Yeah. Up, truck driver got to get this. It make a nigga manage a whole lot more, but yeah. it, it help in this. But it, it teach you how to be, you, do. you know what I'm saying? You it, don't it, even realize you doing you. it in your shit until, like, but like I look at it like, car. you know what I'm saying? When I open that store one day, because mm-hmm. it's coming. When I open up that store one day, I look at it like, shit, that's how I'm going to be in the store, like, really running the operating. Fact, when, you, when you get the store, we going to the store. We, not, we ain't going to do it here. Yeah. We're going like, to put it to the store. That's my goal, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because of where I'm from, like New Orleans, bro, like being back home, like it, it, it teach me so much. Like even like people speak speak a lot of bad things on the city, bro, but it's all about perspective, bro. Like it don't matter where you at in the world, everything about perspective. It's about how you look at things, it's about what you into, where you at, what you doing, mm-hmm. bro. Like I be so inspired in the city, bro. Like I didn't ran into like people like Larry, people like Mline James, Tunche, everybody genuine, bro. You just gotta, you can't be afraid. You like, you gotta stamp your brand, bro. Like if you go somewhere, you, you gotta stamp your brand. You gotta network, connect, bro. Like I really be in the city and I be moving. Like I already know niggas, bro, yep. because it's like I'm just genuine and niggas, niggas could read that, bro. Like people read energy, like you know what I'm saying. So you it's like you can't want everybody to know your brand. Like, you ain't pushing it as much as like you know what I'm saying. Like you know, like these dudes invite me to the stores. Like they they give me the contact. Like all these things, bro. And it's like as I continue to do that, I feel like you know what I'm saying. When I pop out, bro, it ain't even always about partying and having fun. Like of course I'm gonna do that, but it's also like man, I'm gonna network who I need to network with, connect, and I'm gonna fucking like you know what I'm saying. Stamp, stamp myself, bro, because I'm trying to, like, I need a store, too, in, in my hometown, so that's how I be feeling. That's another, you know what I'm that's saying? another I be, way of and, learning, and, too. Like, them niggas motivate me, bro, at the end of the day. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. watching what they're doing. I'm like, okay, cool. I could get that, too. 
We been getting to the money every day of the week Young fly niggas, we the ones that they wanna see Pop shit, iced out, FD on the team And brainstorming about a bag every day of the week uh, We getting money every day of the week uh, We getting money every day of the week Money through Friday be the same, gotta keep a routine Saturday, Sunday, get off your ass and go hit the streets uh, Early bird, get the worm, so I'm up first I done made it out of the storm, it could've been worse Always shit on the hater and leave them in the third Seem cocky, but I'm confident and wear it on my shirt Still going. Say, look, we had technical difficulties, but fuck it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the shit we were talking about earlier. Shit come with the games. You gotta improvise. You gotta keep going with that shit. So boom, this is what we gonna do. Since the fucking camera ain't catching none of that shit, we gonna <laughs> recap, nigga. <laughs> boom, I asked that boy to explain his type of female. I ain't gonna lie, that was a long explanation. <laughs> but what he's saying is, he like brown skins more than he like light skins. I did but, not say that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. See, dude, twist that. <laughs> All right, tell us. I, I said, <laughs> I said, I love caramel brown skin girls. I'm not gonna lie, like they up there in a preference. The, so that's the, number, that's the number one preference. I don't discriminate. He don't. He, he did. He did say that. Light skins different, but they mean as a motherfucker. Yeah. That's a statement. <laughs> and they be have. I don't know. I don't know what be wrong with the light skins, but. I'm straight on life. They, come they be the cool. They be cool. But I don't really discriminate. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? If you find you find. That's what I said. Straight up. That's what I said. And I said, hey, I need me a chick. Matter of fact, this is what I said. I said, I don't believe in 50-50. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what I'm saying? I'm working to be the provider. However, I want a chick that's going to support my vision and be a part of what I got going on. Because yeah. I feel like... I be fly, I want a chick that's fly, I want somebody who won't pop out with me, have a good time. You, you like It's like you maintain them traditional morals and values, but you still know how to have fun, know how to pop out, put that shit on. You could be a part of this, this endless ways lifestyle. Like I need a, I need a miss in this way. He that's did what say I, that. That's he what did, I said. Look, he did say that. That's why I said it was a long explanation. That's what I said. I just made it short. But that's what the fuck he said. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's the short version of what I said. But we gonna run through the questions again hey, because you know what I'm saying the devil hating on us. We trying to be great. He fucked up. I don't lie to you. Like for me, it's cool. I feel like as a man, like your purpose gotta come first. For sure. That's number one. And as a woman, your you purpose, gotta understand that, but know your, your purpose. purpose too. Your purpose, your dreams, your ambitions, that gotta come first because you can't pull out no empty cup. How you gonna take care of somebody? You ain't even got your shit together. So I feel like, you know, number one for me is the brand, God, my money, you know what I'm saying? What I'm trying, what I'm trying to do in life, all those different things play a part. You know what I'm saying? And then my family, that's what's next. Like my family, my girl. So I'm not gonna put you before my priority because if I put you before my priority, I ain't gonna have shit to give you. Nothing like, to give. <laughs> you know what I'm I gotta I gotta lock in I gotta on lock me in. and get that money. So, so you straight. So you straight. Now I don't think a lot of females be understanding that, but they be trying they don't. to they want that shit. They be right making up. it seem like you putting them behind what you doing, but it's just like if I blow up tomorrow and all this shit pop off. You gonna benefit off of that. So like, and that's why y'all go for the niggas that's already lit because they already can give it to you. Like, nine times out of ten. Nine, nine times out of ten, it ain't no real legal shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not hitting on no nigga hustle. But everybody got their own hustle. Everybody got their own hustle, however you do it. But make sure it makes sense before you go all in on it. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it is for me. Like I'm I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm selfish. When it comes to like the brand and, and the stuff that I want to do, like Bitch, my, we know you my selfish. dreams, I'm selfish, bro. I know you're like, selfish. But it, it's only because it's like I want to be successful and I want to make a way for my people. Like I want yep. generational wealth, so that's why I'm selfish because I know I'm only gonna get that by putting it first. <laughs> yeah, him. He's selfish. Make yeah. sure so you know that before you come sliding them DMs. Yeah. Straight up. I am like, you come, you come after that, you hear me? Right after that, you hear me? Right after them, right, right after them. <laughs> Boom, the next question, it was, you rather eat ass or suck toes? He ain't want to answer the question. I took a shot. He took a shot. He won't answer the question. But, he eat ass. Uh, that's not right. He said if he mar he got to be married and locked in to eat ass. I said. Because he don't fuck with toes. I got to be so locked in. So if you had to in. pick one. I that gotta be ass. locked in to do either or, bro. I'm not doing any of those things, man. I locked in. Fuck that! I'm sucking toes while I eat ass. 
What? I'm not doing either of them until we locked in. It, and it might be a still an if if we locked in. He cap. <laughs> he's so I don't cap. know, bro. Like that's different. He's so cap. Boom! Well, look, Depends. this bitch. It said, "Read your last text from any female or take a took shot." A shot. He took a shot because he ain't want to read shit. He been pussy, man. Took a shot. Fuck that. But look. Yeah. Next question was, "What's something you glad your family don't know about you?" Well, he said, "He said ain't nothing his family don't know about me." I don't I said believe it ain't that. Nothing crazy. I said it ain't really nothing crazy. I don't that believe that, but anymore. you know we gonna take it. We gonna we gonna. It ain't nothing. So look, like super crazy. I did anything like a, a normal person would have done. So look, he rolled the four, answered four questions. He took two out of four shots. So then I decided to roll four too. <laughs> that bitch say wildest experience with a female. Yeah, what's it? I think you took a shot. Nah, son. I don't remember. You took a shot. <laughs> Why does it spray with a female? You did not yeah, tell us, bro. I took a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Even, you came up with the questions, don't even want to answer. Nah, I mean, some, the point of the game is to take a shot. That's the main goal. <laughs> in case, and just in, you know, we might get some juicy information outside of that, but fuck, the goal is to take a shot. I'm lit. You lit. That's all that matters. <laughs> the next one was text your mama, fuck you, or take two shots. <laughs> he took two shots. <laughs> I'm not texting my mama that. Who the I fuck would text their mama that, bro? You can't tell your mama you that. You can't. I don't it's, care how much you don't like your mama. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to play with my mama like that. I exactly. Mama. My mama will call me. Fuck this interview. <laughs> she will call me, boy. My mama didn't even play the with her fuck? like that. Like, and she probably will pull up to New Orleans. My mama live in Baton Rouge. She going to be like, She's wrong smiling. person. You meant to send that to me. My mama like asking my mama calling me like, boy, the fuck you playing with? <laughs> I will. Bitch, I will. <laughs> my mama going to fuck me up, boy. I'm not about to play with my mama like that. My daddy Probably. gonna call me next, and my sister gonna be right out of the bar. Yeah, boy. I want to put that in there because I know niggas ain't texting their mom. Yeah, they taking two shots. You gotta take two shots, straight up. The next one was story about the first time you got drunk. I got so many drunk stories, it don't make sense to you fucking <laughs> trying to tell the first time. Fuck all that. I took a shot, <laughs> and if you don't believe me, I'm taking that one up. Shit, I got so many drunk stories. Oh my god, bro. This I got too used, many of them, bro. This little dude used to be lit. You know, I used to be too lit. I just be like, what's wrong? I'm talking about from bro. swim gang parties to kickbacks. I ain't gonna lie. To <laughs> Bay Wave parties. I ain't gonna lie. That just really made me think of something, bro. I had a whole I had a whole swim gang YouTube movie, bro. I don't know what happened. <laughs> All I remember Google you was shit. in that bit, bro. You took a shot. Like, I'm talking about a big old crown bottle, like, this big, bro. You took the whole thing, bro. Downed it. And he just took it. I was like, bro, what is wrong with you, man? Like, he's a different breed. Bro, I used to be lit from? in college. When I first got to college, bro, I ain't I know what the fuck I was doing. I was just throwing shit back, though. That I was legendary, like, bro. I was just throwing shit back. Yeah, you eat. Nah, son. Y'all gotta shit. understand the moments, though. But look, the yeah, last one. Moments. The last one was, what are you taking to the grave? If I'm taking it to the grave, I ain't I'm telling you shot. niggas. And if y'all don't believe me, I'm taking another shot, because I ain't no hope. <laughs> Fuck, nigga. Ooh, Damn. Ooh, I, mean, gotta <laughs> I gotta take this one. No, I'm taking it now, bro. Fuck yeah, we... Uh, he lit. See, I told him he do this for real. Bro, I'm not. He I ain't no hope. do this. I ain't no hope. But look. Different. That's the end of the game. That's the end of the show. It's Drake with Amazing Love, episode 18. Me, and we finally got the nut. Huh? Yeah, leave him with something, but you're gonna leave him with this shot too, nigga. I'm gonna take a shot. And I'm gonna take another one, because I'm it's my shit. Cheers. Yeah, it's my what shit. Is, that's that? Nah, that's uh, the, the rest of the crime. I might have seen him. I don't want that jack. This bitch cool if it takes like five ball. I'm straight. Give him some shit, and then we gonna fuck he threw it back, I'm throwing it back. Um <laughs> Yeah, what I can leave y'all with really is just like consistency is key. Like, be consistent in everything that you do. Always strive for greatness. Do everything 120% every single time. Like, when you wake up in the morning, like, God giving you another day to like chase your dreams, bro. Really? So, like, be appreciative of the simple things. Like, you know what I'm saying? Having a job, having transportation, having a roof over your head, having food to eat. Don't take none of that for granted, bro, because they got people really out here struggling. So it's like, use the resources you have, use the people you have, use the things that you have in front of you, and chase your dreams the only way that you can. Like, be authentic in everything you do. Don't become um, 
blinded by the social social media thing that we have. Like it's 2023 and the internet is like wild. So like, you know what I'm saying? Block that shit out. Take a break from it when you need to and just be authentic to yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what this brand is all about. Like riding your own wave, being true to who you are, developing yourself and, and grinding for what you're passionate about and, and don't yeah, ever right. forget that. And as long as you have that mentality, like I feel you're gonna be successful in whatever you do. And just remember that, like I said, as always, ride your own way, be true to yourself to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? I'm D Nelly on Instagram, underscore D Nelly, underscore. Um, Instagram page is Endless Wave Studios, website is EndlessWaveStudios.com. And just tap into what we got going on. I appreciate you, Major, for letting me be a part of your platform, sure. brother. This was a good one. And yeah, we just gonna roll out like that. Wavy Triple Navy game. Y'all know who y'all are. Wavy Navy, bro. Like I'm saying, all my brothers, all my sisters, my family, Wavy Navy, bro. We gotta take this thing to the fucking moon and back, and we out. You dig? Fact. What's up, ladies? You now tuned in to the love doctor himself. Major love. I know you wanna talk, but I ain't no first base nigga. I hit it out the park. I ain't rushing, I just rather keep it rough from the start. No reason for me to keep my intentions in the dark. Say I can listen, but just know I can talk too. We can hit the couch, the car, or take a walk too. I be your therapist, I put you in just the right mood. I ain't no pimp, I just happen to have some player mood. The way I rock, the way I dress, I know she like it for sure. I keep it fly like I'm a pilot, but I'm driving the boat. This a private practice. Everything done